Okay, I'll tell it. All of this really happened, believe if you want to or not, but I was cringing hard as fuck and choking back tears while I was writing this. I'm not making this shit up. Be at Comic Con because my friend had a leftover pass he got them for free and one of his friends bailed. I'm not really that into comic books or tabletops or cosplaying or anything like that, so I just go to check it out. Filled with cosplaying people. I check out some booths and whatnot. Nothing really that interesting. My friend is cosplaying as some cartoon character, runs into some people dressed as animals, foxes, wolves shit like that. They're actually wearing costumes with removable heads, you can't see what any of them look like. Start talking to them, it was a weird experience. They invite us over to one of their friend's hotel's rooms, it's a suite. It was gigantic, it had two bedrooms inside of it. They don't take off the costumes, just the masks. We start doing shots. There's this girl named Ashley, short fatty, small tits. She's making me fucking uncomfortable the entire time. I don't want to say anything because I barely knew any of them and they were all being so nice to me. Out of 6 furries, 5 of them were fatties, not fat as fat as fat, but pretty fucking fat. She constantly does this cutsy laugh whenever I say something even remotely funny. Squeals, literally when she's happy, shakes her ass to make her tail wag. Does all of these overly animated routines. Basically I think she was trying to do this gay as fuck emote face when she was smiling but she just closed her eyes and would do a very wide closed smile which looked really weird. When she's asking for something she puts her paws up and sticks her tongue out. Eventually they go back to the con, me and another buddy go to a food joint, they tell me and my buddy we can come back and crash at their hotel. I don't want to go back there, buddy is insistent that we don't have anywhere else to go because another friend who is with them has our hotel keys. Fuck it, we go back there carrying our subs and pizzas. We crash on the couch and start eating. All of them come back, Ashley immediately runs through the door, gets on her knees in front of me and puts her paws up, wagging her tail and sticking her tongue out, looking at my pizza. A few of them do the same, but with less enthusiasm than Ashley. All of them are sitting on the ground, I let them have my two pizzas, they killed them in seconds. They start picking it up and eating it with just their mouths. I tell them they can sit on the couch. All of them jump on the couch with all fours. Ashley jumps on me and says glomp. One of the guys ironically the only one who wasn't fat pulls out some weed. 420 blaze at Fadget. Realize after we smoke that he's dressed as a cat. He starts acting like a cat on catnip. I'm laughing my ass off at how stupid they all are. Can't stop laughing. They pour me more shots. I'm slowly getting seriously fucked up throughout the night. Only three of them took off their fur fag costumes, but two of them up on those ear things on their heads. Ashley didn't take her costume off because she told she feels sexy when she wears it. The drunker Ashley gets, the more touchy feely she is and apparently more energetic, they told me she's hyper cute and after taking a few shots she started jumping around, dancing and squealing. One of them says so coy. Nigga what the fuck is happening right now? Fatties without some dry snacks. They pour them into a bowl and eat out of them with their mouths, laughing at themselves. I look at my buddy, he is passed out on the ground. I tell them we need to get him home or something. It's cool they start licking him and one of the fat girls cuddles up on him and makes dog whining noises. I want my mommy at this point. Take another shot and realize how fucked up I am, want to eat but can't find my sub. Can't walk, they tell me I can sleep there, I try to tell them no, but I'm too fucked up. They take me to one of the beds. Pass out for a couple of hours. Wake up to Ashley standing in my room in full costume. She starts sucking my dick. I'm too fucked up to do anything, I've only had sex twice so this is pretty fucking amazing to me. She tells me to wait. I'm laying in the bed with a gigantic hard on, the feel of that suit grinding on my dick was that good. W what am I a fur fag? She comes back with a costume and tells me to put it on. I'm still kind of high so I start laughing and putting it on because she convinces me and I wanted to see how it feels. It's slightly too big for me, but whatever. She starts humping me with the costume on, we're making out then she puts on her mask while dry humping me. To this day I can't remember if this actually happened. We finally get naked and fuck. What have I done jpg? I'm laying in the bed after we fucked, I'm so fucked up both mentally and from the alcohol. She gets back in her costume, kisses me. 
I ask her to give me my clothes, I'm going home. She tells me to stay, tries to convince me. I keep asking her for my clothes. Suddenly she jumps up and in a high pitched voice says no in a cutsy manner. She then puts her mask on, grabs all of my clothing from the ground and squeals you're going to have to catch me first. She runs out through the room door and I jump from the bed, I'm so fucked up I immediately fall down, but I see her run out of the hotel room. I run to the door, cupping my balls and dick with my hand look out into the hallway. She's standing at the end of it and she stuffed my clothing into the mouth hole of her mask and she's acting like she's a dog playing. I try to tell her to stop and it's not funny. She runs away. I go to the room and lay there for like 20 minutes, look through the window, I'm freaking the fuck out. Finally I put on the fur fag costume she gave me and run out through the door looking for her. I'm too drunk to go down the stairs, so I take the elevator. Door opens, three guys in business suits stare at me as I walk into the elevator. Really fucking regretting not putting that mask on right about now. Get out into the lobby, everyone is staring at me, ask the receptionist if they've seen her, they tell me no. I go to the stairway and see her crawl away on all fours. Chase her, she starts running and runs through the hallways. Feeling drunk as fuck, I'm hitting walls, breathing heavy as fuck, everything is spinning, realize I'm about to puke, the entire time I'm screaming Ashley finally slip and hit a door full force. Stand up and lean against a wall. The door I slammed into opens. It's two hot girls, both of them stare at me for a second, I try to make some excuse, but I realize I'm about to puke. Don't want to puke on the hotel property. Pull the costume collar back and start puking inside of the costume, both of the girls start laughing and close their door. I collapse, about to puke again, but can't pull the costume back this time, press my mouth with the furry paws and the puke starts going, I press it into my chest. At the same time I feel puke on the inside of the costume pressing against my body, running down my leg and shit like that. That makes me puke even more, find I trash can I literally fill up. I see her standing outside, I run to get her, I tell her I'm not joking and that I probably need to go to the hospital I was exaggerating because I thought it would make her stop. She starts running straight. I start chasing her. After like 20 feet she slips and falls down. She's literally having a heart attack can't breathe from running 20 feet. I get my clothes, screaming at her, she makes a gay as fuck anime face again and says sowie. Something is wrong with my clothes, there's some sort of sticky shit reflective shit on it. It's submarine grease condiments, bitch was eating that sub I couldn't find inside of the costume while I was chasing her. I find a secluded spot, get out of the fur fag costume, wipe off the shit from my body with it and put on my grease stained clothing. Go back to my hotel room, buddies are already back there, ask me what happened, tell them nothing. Pass out in my bed, I can't pass out because my mind is full of fuck. But I'm too fucked up to do anything else. Other buddy comes back next day, says nothing. I'm just assuming she didn't tell anyone, I will never tell anyone about this, ever. There is security cam footage in a hotel of two fur fags running around. This was my first and hopefully last experience with fur fags. This made me want to die for days. The next day I took like 3 showers and still got goosebumps. You know out of all the furry stories I've done, I completely believe this one. This one, in my mind, is something that also, I, I, it, it's near enough the same story that happened to me, except not with a furry, and she wasn't that mental, but like, you know, it was still like horrible. But, uh, you know, that's just, it just happens. You know, once once alcohol's in the mix, you know, things just happen that you would never in your life mind normally do. And like, you know, you look back and you like to question what you've done with your life. It's like, how did I, how did I get here? You know, what, 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 um, what choices did I make? that landed me in this situation that I'm in right now. Like, you know, it's just like, oh, make it stop, and you just can't stop thinking about it. It's horrible. Actually, genuinely horrible, but, like, you know, like I think that happens to most people. Like, you know, have you ever had a horrible experience like this before? I've had one. Actually, no, I've had two that I can think of that I really do cringe upon. Thinking back, it's like, oh. <sighs> you know, please make the pain go away. But, like, that was a long time ago, so, like, you know be all right but anyway anyway let us know down below um if you want to share i'm not willing to share my ones to be honest with you i'll tell you if i've had it but i'm not telling you what happened that's all i can say but look like, uh let us, let us know down below uh i i would love to read them i think they're fucking hilarious 
and uh, definitely make sure to click that subscribe button and notification and all that jazz to stay up to speed to like you know for any of our further videos. Alrighty. If you haven't already, check out my Red Bubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?